What's going on everybody? Dan the man here. In this video I would like to show you how I use advanced custom fields as well as custom post types. Now like all my other videos there are many many ways to do the same thing. I just like to show you ways that I have personally done and I have found helpful. So by no means am I saying my way is the best or only way to do it. My whole goal of this video is just to, to help you out. I struggled with this for a little while and then finally it clicked. So maybe uh, this video can help it click for you too. Anyway, so we have this test website that I made. Actually, full disclosure, I did not make it. It is an Elementor Pro template. It's just this doctor template. Yeah, but this is not going to be the focus of the video, we're going to create a new page. And by the end of the video on that new page, we're going to create an archive of four doctors. And when you click on one of those doctors, we will have an Elementor template with dynamic content to fill in all the doctor information. So without further ado, let us begin. Let's hop in the back end here. First things first, let's create that doctor's archive page. So let's just create a new page. Uh, we'll just call it doctor's page because why not? And then publish. Okay, and you see over here we have our test website with doctor's page. So then over here on appearance and menus, we'll grab doctor's page, we'll add it to the menu. I have this set to primary menu, save, come back over here, refresh this page. We now have a doctor's page. Click on it. Yeah, beautiful. So I'm assuming that you already have Elementor Pro installed and activated as doing it this way, doing the way I'm showing you in the video, it requires Elementor Pro because Elementor Pro allows you to create templates and insert the dynamic content through the templates. So then the next step is going to be plugins and let's add new. And we're looking for custom post type. You can either type CPT or you can type out custom post type. And we're looking for this one here by Web Dev Studios. They keep it updated, it's compatible with the version of WordPress, and there's many, many installs with a lot of happy users. So let's install that. And before I activate it, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add advanced custom fields. We're gonna use this one here, 1 million plus active installs, five stars, updated two weeks ago. This is perfect, install now. Okay, then we go ahead and activate it. And then we can activate the custom post type as well. Okay, so now that we have our plugins installed, we can head on over to CPT UI, which is custom post type user interface. So let's click on add post types. So the post type slug, this is mainly used just for queries. So we will just call it doctor, all lowercase. The plural label, this can be doctors plural and it can be capitalized. The label is the one that's going to show up over here. And then the singular, we can just do doctor. Okay, so let's scroll down. Additional labels, I don't really do anything with these. I come here to under settings and then what we want to do is has archive, we want to set this to true. And by setting this to true, we are saying Yes, we want, uh, we're going to have doctors, but we want more than one doctor. We want multiple doctors. So we'd like to archive it so the WordPress can run the loop function and loop through it and grab them. Like pages, all pages, that's an archive. Posts, all posts, that's an archive. So this is the same thing. We're going to have doctors. We want a, a uh, archive of all doctors. So we set that to true. And we come down here and uh, dash icons or dash icons, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can paste in a class here, and I'm just going to use Dashicons Businessman. And uh, I don't think they have a doctor. I didn't see a doctor one. Correct me if I am wrong. So we use Businessman because this is the icon that's going to show up over here in the menu. So the Businessman has a little tie, so it separates the user from the doctor for uh, just visual reference. And then down here under support, we want to support custom fields. So with that, let's just go ahead and add post type. Doctor has been successfully added. And as you can see over here, we have doctors. So as you see, there are no doctors yet. Let's create a new doctor by clicking add new. And this should look familiar to you. It looks the same as if you were creating a post or page because this is a post type. So with, the doc with this doctor, let's call him John Doe. And this title is just going to be the title that shows when you 
click on all doctors this will be the title and then also the uh, permalink or the URL that shows up so then if we publish this doctor we can see we have the test website Dr. John Doe. So we created a Dr. John Doe, but I don't see any place to add information for a doctor. We could start typing here, but that's not what we were looking for. That's where the custom fields come into play. So let's come down here to custom fields. Remember we installed that earlier and let's go to field groups. Now let's add a new field group and let's call this Dr. Info. You can call this whatever you want to call it. This is just a, a title for you to easily reference. If you have more, multiple field groups, it's nice to just have a clear title. So location rules, um, show this field group if post type is equal to doctor. Because we created in our custom post type, we created doctors and the slug was doctor. And so it's looking at the singular. So that's that. These fields that we add here are going to show up on every post type that is equal to doctor. So let's add a field. So in this one, field label, we can say doctor name. And as soon as we hit tab, we can see it generates the slug already. And this is a type of text, which is perfect because we're just going to be typing in the name. You can make it required if you would like. I just keep everything default here. One thing that you could do is you could put doctor with a space and in that way whosoever name is filled in here John Doe is going to prepend doctor to it. You can do that here in this location or you can do it in the actual Elementor template. So that's doctor name. Let's add another field and we can do doctor image. And this one drop down we can come down here in content it is an image and in here we can set a preview size and I'm just going to do full size on it. And you can restrict the image width and height as well as the file size here. On these, I'm going to keep them blank as I've already sized my images. Let's add another field and this one, let's do doctor address. This can be a type text. And then let's do another one. On this one, we can do doctor phone. And I'm going to leave Dr. Phone as type text as well because when entering a phone number, we might want to put parentheses or dashes or some people put periods and that's fine. So text allows us to do that. We could restrict the character limit if we wanted no characters whatsoever and just 10 digits. It's up to you. You can play with it. You can create yours however you would like. Let's add another field. And I'm going to do Dr. Description. And this can be text or a text area. I've used both and it allows me to put quite a bit of text in the uh, the field type, whether it's text or text area, but I like to go with text area just because I know description is going to be longer. And then lastly, we can do doctor email, which this type can be email. Boom and nailed it. So let us save this or publish it rather. So you can see we have a doctor name, image, address, phone, description, and email. So these are all now custom fields we can use on our doctor to enter his information to use later in our Elementor template. So let's head back over to doctor. We'll come back into our doc, uh, Dr. John Doe. And now if you notice last time, this was all full screen. Well now down here we have doctor info and this is our custom field group that we created and we prepended doctor to it. So if we type John Doe and we can add an image, doctor address, sure, <laughs> sure we'll use this, tacos at email. And um, description, this is the description. And one thing I like to do, we can come over here, new tab, and we can go to lorem ipsum generator and I can just grab, we'll just do this. Perfect. We can actually change that out. So now we've got a decent sized description here. So there we have it. We were able to add this doctor, Dr. John Doe's information to this doctor. So now if we update this, pretty cool. So we can go ahead and add a new doctor. I'm going to do this three more times 
and then I will come back to you guys. I will be right back. Okay, guys, and welcome back. So I have created four doctors and I filled in all of their information. So now it's time to do the fun part. Let's show these doctors on our doctors page. We can do that very easily. One thing I would like to do real quick is come back over to our pages on the doctors page. So I'm using Astra theme, by the way, and I have sidebar set to no sidebar and content layout full width stretch. So if we come back over here, we have this. Okay. So in Elementor, we can come to templates and come to theme builder. I already have one created. You would add new and it would be a single. We'll come, I'll show you real quick. We can go to single, add new. So the type is single and it would be doctor. And this is where you can put the uh, doctor template, doctor, whatever you want to call it. So I created it here. So let's just jump right into edit with Elementor. So here we have just a basic layout. And what we want to do is we want to take all of this information, the name, the description, the image, and you can kind of see where I'm going with this and make it the dynamic content to show the specific content for the specific doctor shown. So let's start by clicking on the heading and right here, dynamic tags. We can click on that. We can scroll down to ACF field. That is advanced custom field. Click the little wrench and then the key we now can see the doctor info, the custom fields we created. So we're going to do doctor name. It's going to pull in Dan the man. And here under advanced is where you could do the before. You could put doctor here. And that way it shows Dr. Dan the man. Okay. So then here in this location, we can do the same thing. Come down here to advanced field, the wrench, key. Let's do description. And that pulls in the description. Perfect. Right here on image, same exact thing. So you can see how extremely powerful this can be. Dan is awesome. Yes, he is. Okay, down here in contact info, we have address. So we can do the same thing down here. Click the wrench, settings, address, and then phone. and email. Okay. And then uh, we can change all, we can change up some of this stuff. This is not a uh, episode on design whatsoever. It's just to show this is a doctor's page with a specific doctor, Dr. Dan, the man, his description, his image, and his contact info. Now in Elementor, it allows you to do some pretty cool things. We can come in here to settings, preview settings, doctor, and we can look at a different doctor, say John, John Doe, apply and preview. So we can see it dynamically pull in the different doctor's information. Pretty cool. Okay. So we go ahead and hit update down here and we want to add a display condition. So the beauty of a template is it allows us to create one look and then push it out to all the uh, display conditions that we choose. So let's add a condition here. We can include it to all singular. That would include it to posts, pages, all singular. That's not exactly what we're looking for. So let's click the drop down. Posts, pages, look, we have doctors. This is a post type. So we can click on doctors and I'm going to leave it on as all. So we can show this template for all doctors. If we created different doctor types like MD, DO, OBGYN, we could have different layouts for different doctors uh, and have them set as categories. And this is where you could show this template to, you know, a specific category. But right now we're just going to save and close because I want this template to be assigned to all doctors. So let's come back to our dashboard. If we come back over here to the doctor's page, nothing has happened. And that's fine. That's, that's expected. We're going to get into that now. If we come back over to pages and doctor's page, we're going to edit with Elementor. And then right here, we're going to look for posts. This one right here, click and drag that in. And yeah, not really what we're looking for because by default posts looks for posts. And this is a fresh install of WordPress. So it's got the default hello world 
post on it. That's not exactly what we are looking for. Uh, but but we'll change that here in a moment. We can change the columns. How many columns? I want two columns, and I want them showing as cards. So just a little bit of extra styling there. Uh, two columns, I said, and you can change the columns based on desktop, tablet, and mobile. I have it set to one. Perfect. And then I don't really. We don't really need the date. We don't really need comments. That information could be helpful if you need a timestamp for when that doctor was created. But for this video, we're just going to leave it off. And then down here, we can, uh, instead of read more, we can say visit doctor or whatever you want it to say. Badge, I'm going to turn off. And an avatar, I'm going to turn off. Because if you are logged into WordPress.com and you have a Gravatar icon, that would automatically pull it in over here and put it on the post, which is not what we're looking for. So here's the query. Here's where we change it. By default, it looks at posts. Well, we want to change it to doctors because that is the post type that we created. And look, just right there. Awesome. You can include by term or author. I just want to include all. You can exclude by manual selection, current post, whatever, but I just, we're going to keep it here. I want to keep it pretty simple. Pagination, you can set that. So when there's multiple doctors and all that kind of stuff. So this is pretty cool. I do want to do one last thing before I let you guys go. And uh, that is to add the doctor images here. So they show up. So when you come to the doctor's page, you know what they look like. So let's come back here real quick. And that's going to be done under doctors. And we're going to go into each doctor and we're just going to add a featured image and an update. I'm going to go through and do the rest of the doctors and I will meet you back on the doctors page. Okay guys, welcome back. So now we have all four doctors that we created showing up on the doctors page. Now, if this was a real project, I would definitely be doing um, the proper size images so they wouldn't be so pixelated. But I wanted to stick with the main points of this video and that is that we can create a post archive. We can create doctors. We can give them special, unique custom fields. We can dynamically generate those fields through a template and then we can put them all on their own archive page. So if we go into each doctor anywhere on here, we can click this and go to Dr. Dan. Pretty cool. And you can even create a little button back here that goes back to this URL to always come back here. We go on John Smith, Dr. John Smith. So yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. If it did, feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I will be releasing more Elementor and WordPress videos as that's where I've been working mostly in my day job. I'm running into some pretty cool things and I would love to share it with you guys. Let me know in the comments if this helped you or if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help out any way I can. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Dan the Man signing out.